racecourses in Britain. It plays host to high-class racing all year round, from major handicaps. Penitent will make the bookmaker sorry. It's going to land a gamble and do it in great style. A third linker for William Haggis. To classic trials. And it's going to be Rodrigo de Triana who lands the four-timer. It's a double for Willie Carson as he wins the Laurent Perrier. High Chaparral is switched the far side, and the Kevin Darley is kicking the turbo. Very late inside the final 50. High Chaparral, great ride by Darley. And of course, Britain's oldest classic. But it's all silver, Patriarch and Pat Edry now. Win number 4,000 in Britain for Pat Edry. And the ledger goes to silver, Patriarch. And Camelot in second, who's chasing Enki. But Enki's got first run and is going to deprive Camelot of the triple crown. Enki for Mikel Barcelona. The oldest classic in the world, the Ladbrokes from Ledger, 1776. I mean, what more history do you need than that? You know, we're very proud to kind of that history. You look around the stands and we've got the old clock tower stand that goes back a number of years. And then you look at the new facility, you know, 35 million development in 2007. You know, I'm very lucky. Um, Adam Waterworth did a wonderful job when he was here and, you know, I've been able to pick the reins up and hopefully uh, we're, we're moving in the right direction. We do two or three music nights a year. Last year we only did one and we actually sold out. So this year we thought that maybe there's a little bit more appetite for doing more than one night. So we've got tonight, we then got Ronan Keaton in June and we have Scouting for Girls in, in um, August. So, you know, we do try and mix it up. But also any Saturday meeting now, uh, we have a, a tribute band playing live after racing and we don't increase our ticket price. That's really aimed at trying to get more people here and give them great fun and, um, you know, make it an entertaining day for them. So they get six, seven or eight race card and then they get a, an hour or so of a band all included in their entrance price. We have the William Hill Lincoln, which we always get a big crowd to and a lot of excitement. You know, we're very fortunate that we open the flat season. We then get into um, our music nights. We've got Derby Day, um, which this year, obviously, the 1st of June. We then get into the, the Ladbrokes and Ledger. We then do the Racing Post two days in October. And then we, we actually close the flat season as well with the November Handicap. And Art Scholar dishes out a lesson and wins the November Handicap. As well as providing top-class flat racing and post-race entertainment throughout the summer months, Doncaster's National Hunt programme provides some of the winter's most competitive handicap chasers. Paddy Lane and Jason Maguire are drawing away and all roads now lead to entry. The outlook's bright for Cloudy Lane as he powers away to win the Grimthorpe. A week on from Summersby and the Victor Chandler chase. Now it's Calgary Bay's turn. Ellsworth seen to great effect again. Night rains on town more and Calgary Bay wins the sky bet. All of the action can be viewed from the impressive five-storey grandstand. Opened in 2007, this state-of-the-art facility caters for every racegoer's needs. Flooring actually at the moment um, has uh, two really, really top-class restaurants. One's in our premier enclosure, um, looks after about 400 people. Um, but, and above it, we've actually got some really nice boxes up there. And over in our other stand, we've got several boxes. But the restaurants um, are tremendous. They do a fantastic buffet. Um, if you go away hungry from here, uh, don't believe it one minute, um, yeah, it, it is really, really nice. And even if you're, you know, sort of down in the public areas, we always make sure that there's some sort of catering opportunity down there for people to take advantage of really. Um, I think it's really quite important that you know nowadays when people come racing they really need to make sure they that, you know they can afford to buy the extras that are here um, and often what we tend to do is do some quite nice packages so you can actually buy before in advance you've got a nice badge you've got a race card and you've got some sort of food offering so um, you know even at that level we've got we've got something for everybody it's not all the, uh, the exciting uh, boxes that we've got here as well. As far as uh, sponsors go as well, I imagine they get well looked after as well here at Doncaster. Yeah, there are VIPs and you know, sponsorship is a, a hard world now and we realise that we have to make a step up to make sure that people come here on a regular basis and sponsor with us. And I'm glad to say that you know we offer an awful lot of marketing opportunities with our sponsorship packages and you know we have got a lot of sponsors here. Um, you know we don't struggle for sponsorship in all fairness. Um, and we make sure that they get every opportunity that we've got available to get their brand out there and market here with us. Away from the grandstand, the county enclosure offers a great choice of bars and restaurants. And those looking for a touch of luxury can head out onto the county lawn to make the most of the champagne and seafood restaurant. Hello, this is my first time in Doncaster races. What a fantastic day it's been. Great day of racing. 
for my first time in the track and it's been a fantastic day. Doncaster may well be a great place to come and sample the range of food, drink, entertainment and hospitality on offer, but without doubt it's what takes place on the racetrack that provides the main attraction. Eccleston is absolutely flying now, has come to hit the front inside the final furlong and is roaring clear, Eccleston has quickly gone two or three legs ahead and will make an impressive debut for Richard Farhing and Tony Hamilton. Eccleston looks one to note. Well, you just had a winner and you've had plenty over the years here at Doncaster. Yes, we have. We thoroughly enjoy coming over to Doncaster. We lose our draw. And they always look after you? They're very much so, to the degree that we like coming to Doncaster so much. We come from Lancashire and we send our friends and family from Lancashire to Doncaster for a day out. It's a great track and I mean you always love going racing to the ones that are closer to home and the facilities at Doncaster are great. It's a very, very fair track for the horses so um, why not come here? seems a good track for young horses as well. It is, yeah. I mean, the straight is, um, there's plenty of room for them. There's no, very few hard luck stories here. And always a good atmosphere here at Donny when we have a winner? It certainly is, and certainly is when they're playing a bit of music afterwards. Yeah, it's always been a good track. They look after it well, and we've won the sales race here. The first year it was uh, something like 186 grand, and we were third as well. So, yeah, there's always special memories at Doncaster, especially when I was riding. I fell at the last and got really <laughs> plastered so it's uh, you know it's a good good place and I'm a Yorkshireman so I love it. And as far as the facilities go for the horses it's always I imagine a good place to bring youngsters and they just look after you well. Yeah they do I mean the horses you know you get a good run there's plenty of room the stables are a great facility and you can got time to saddle them in the stables if they're a little bit um, fiery you can keep them quiet and then just bring them up yeah it's a good spot. And always an interesting crowd. Very interesting crowd, is that what you call it? So whether you're looking for top class racing, great entertainment and hospitality or simply a fun day for the whole family, Doncaster really does have all the angles covered.